Good morning, everybody. It is uh, 5.35 in the morning on December 4th. And uh, I'm going to try something a little different this morning than, than how I have been hunting. So there's been a really nice buck that's been spending a lot of time in the red brush right here below the house. Uh, Kaylee's seen it on her way to work on a couple different occasions uh, crossing the road down here. And then the other night... Kaylee and I were coming down the road and it actually crossed into the red brush and uh, from what I kept thinking that you know the more I hunted up in that shanty I can see that strip food plot down in there but I don't think that buck is coming like deep into the red brush I think he's using this food plot that's right here below the house and he's just bedding right on the edge of the food plot right there and he's crossing the road back and forth you know down here uh, blow the house and that reminds me of a deer that was doing that last year that had me totally fooled that you know we weren't we weren't able to kill during muzzleloader season it was a buck that we called big brow he was bedding over here in this creek bottom on the neighbors and then he would walk this uh, fence line over here into the uh, food plot next to the red brush I haven't been in there to check I have the cutting link system that's on the other side of all this and I haven't picked up a big buck in here on that uh, so that's another reason I don't think he's getting all the way through there so this morning what I'm gonna do is just set up right here uh, on this side of the red brush and uh, I'm gonna get my wind right and I'm gonna just tuck into that brush down here and just watch the edge to see if he's gonna try to cross the road this early this morning because he's done it on numerous occasions now at, at first light pretty much so uh, we might, this is probably going to be an all or bust type hunt. We're probably, we're, we're either going to see him or we're not going to see any deer at all, I think. Uh, I want to check, there's, I have a bunch of cameras on this food plot that I haven't checked since like the, you know, before rifle season even started. And I want to, I want to check those cameras, but knowing that that big deer has been in there, I don't want to get too close to that brush where I think he's possibly bedding. So we're going to hunt hunt that edge this morning and then uh, after I'm done hunting I'm going to sneak up there and grab those cards and and try to see what buck this actually is I it's it seems to me like it's big brow uh, this is it's got I mean very similar to what he was doing last year when we got cold weather uh, it's a big enough buck though that I know it's it's uh you know it's not it's not any of the decent bucks this is a big buck this is when I saw its rack going across the field the other night in the moonlight, it was like, there's only two deer it could be, and that's the bully eight or big brow, and those are our two biggest deer on the whole, on the whole road. So uh, just to even think that we're holding one over here is pretty awesome. So we're going to go, I'm going to put a ton of clothes on because I'm going to be sitting in the snow. This will be a little different than the old shanty hunt, but we'll see what happens this morning. Well, I'd like to take this thing with me for when I sit down there, get nice and steady, but I've got to carry a chair, all my camera equipment, and my gun, and I might I might take Kaylee's 243 for where I'm going instead of the 6.5 because my shot's only going to be uh, probably 150 yards or less, and I'd rather have uh, something a little bit more maneuverable and this has got a sling on it, so we're probably not going to take the 6.5 for this morning's hunt. We'll go to the 243. That bad boy right there is what we're looking for. These things are handy. Got a strap on them so I can. There goes some ice off the roof. Got a strap so they're easy to carry. We're just gonna walk down there, get set up. Gosh, this snow is sticking loud. Not gonna be sneaking up on anything in this stuff. We're all set up, everybody. Uh, when I walk down in here, 
there's a huge deer track coming straight out of out of the edge of the red brush from the food plot and it looked like just in the past couple hours and uh, unfortunately it was crossing the road going away from you know where I'm at now I have a trail camera on that trail that deer walked down so I'm gonna pull the card on that and check and see what's on it and I have my my uh, laptop right here so we'll see what's on there quick let's see what we got on here Two red fox. a little two and a half year old buck. That's the pull eight. That's our biggest deer on the farm. That was on, that was at 9.42 on the 29th. That's the night we got the storm. Holy shit. There he is. I thought it was probably Big Brow that was out, been running around out here, but it's the Bully 8. Big Brow and the Bully 8 are our two biggest. That's the night that, that's on the 2nd of December at 7.30. That's the night Kaylee and I seen him cross the road down here, but we didn't know. We just could tell it was a big buck. Holy crap, guys. That's Big Brow. That is big brow. That's a different buck. That's the second biggest buck on the road. We have the two biggest bucks on the road in our back pocket. Unreal. There's the bully eight. That's on the. That was last night. Today's the fourth. That's that big track crossing the road. Sure is. This is at 0630. It's right before I got here. Here's another two and a half year old buck. That's me walking in it. That time's not right. It says zero eight. I can't. I got in here. It was like zero seven. Holy cow! I think this track right here is the Bully H track. Last night around midnight right by this camera I have set up and walked right down the edge of the red brush and crossed but uh, the possibility of uh, Big Brow still being in here is very good 
So we'll just sit tight and see what happens. I don't like how my wind keeps swirling in here. It was pretty steady when I first got down here, but now that it's getting light, it's starting to swirl around pretty bad, which isn't good, but if it gets too bad, we're just gonna get up and uh, wanna check these other cameras up here, and then we're gonna sneak out of here. Last thing we wanna do is get any, you know, put any pressure on this, especially with these two bucks, you know, spending time here. Holy shit, guys. I just killed a stud. Let me get this focus. Oh my god. Oh, did that really just happen? Oh my gosh. I was just sitting here and I heard something over here in the brush. Right here. Next thing I know, here comes a real nice buck out of there. And he's he stood there on the edge for a second, and then as he spun to take off, I shot free-handed and smoked him. He freaking went right down. Yes! I don't think it's uh I didn't I don't think it's a bully eight. It's a nice buck though. I'm not sure that happened. I don't even remember aiming. Oh my gosh, let's go see it. I might need to put another one in him. Holy crap. This is where I was, everybody. I was just tucked right in here. This is actually where Dad and I were sitting when uh, we put that decoy out. Here is that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe that just happened. This year has been like the best year ever. For hunting, hunting wise, obviously. 2020 has been a shit show for everything else, but hunting wise, I just killed my biggest deer ever with Kaylee's 243. We'll get his tongue back in there. There you go, big guy. Man, he's an absolute stud. He's just... I, you can't tell why we call him the brow tine buck. That's why we call him the brow tine buck. I gotta call Kaylee and uh, I still gotta fill my tag out and get my tag on him, but oh my gosh, this is crazy. I gotta just take a while and take this in. I guarantee what happened when I, I, sat, I got sat down well before dark in there and my wind was good and as soon as it started getting light it started blowing into this bottom here where he was bedding he caught my wind so he came trotting out up here and he was on he wasn't just eating in the food plot he was like oh shit something's not right getting out of here and i just pulled up freehand shot him he went about four steps and fell right over oh my gosh I am beyond excited right now like that's my biggest deer I've ever killed I gotta call the neighbor this is actually a buck that spent a lot of time on the neighbors uh, up in their food plot and on their side hill but that brassica is what got him over here, this cold weather and snow. Boy, those guts felt good, nice and warm. My hands are cold. But we're gonna 
I'm gonna get this tag filled out and then start showing them off. Look at all the stinking hair it blew out the offside shoulder there. You see they've been digging at this brassica right here. We'll go up and have a camera set up right here in the corner. We'll check and check that camera and see what we got on there. See if Big Brow's on there. I can't believe that he showed up over here this early. Usually he doesn't come over here till muzzleloader season, but this cold weather brought these deer. We got all this brass gun stuff. Let's see what we got on this one. Here's a nice little eight point. There's the buck that uh, Kaylee shot, even Steven, right there. That was on the 22nd. There's that buck I saw last night, that little seven point. There's the big boy right there. There's the bully eight. There he is again. There he is again. That's at five in the morning. Oh my gosh, broad daylight. On the third, the bully eight was out here eating. Are you kidding me? We gotta give Kaylee a call and let her know I'm, I'm like living a dream right now. This is crazy. She's not gonna bleed. She's gonna think I killed the buck I was after. The bully ate. Hello? Hey, how's it going, babe? <laughs> good, how are you? Good. Actually, really good, you, really good. Did you get him? I got him. Awesome! It's not, huh? it's not the deer you think it is. What is it, who is it? You'll never believe what deer it is. Okay, well, tell me. Guess. He's one of the bosses on the whole road. One of the one of the big boys. From the upper farm. No, no. Oh. This is one of uh, the neighbors' bucks over there. Big okay, brow. Big have Big brow. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, that's awesome, babe. I couldn't believe it when he came. I think he winded me. The wind switched and was blowing right into the red brush, you know, into his bedding. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was right at first light. And he came, I heard some crashing, and he came running right out on the edge and stopped. I mean, he was, knew something wasn't right at all. And uh, he actually spun to run back into the red brush, and I shot, and he went like three steps and tipped right over. I'm using your 243. Oh, that's awesome, Cliff. Where did you sit? Did you sit at the bottom of that field? Yep, I sat right at the bottom corner where uh, Dad and I set up that panel blind. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was actually just getting ready to move because of my wind. I'm like, I'm never, I'm, I'm just screwing myself, you know? Yeah. My wind blowing in there, but it actually helped. That's why he came out. He wasn't going to, I don't think he was going to come out on his own. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, I'll call you back in about an hour. I'm with a patient right now. Okay. I just saw you were calling. Okay. We have to give Chris a call here because this is a buck that he grew for me. So I got to give him a call and tell him thanks. He actually drove by when I was walking out to see it. Yo. What's up, Chris? I 
Because when did you kill out your window? That's what I want to know. Well, it's going to be bittersweet for you. Uh-oh, did you kill tall times? Big brows down. Ah, uh, son of a bitch, I knew he would do it too. Yep, only he, one day of snow and he showed up. What did you see him walking across the field? No, I actually wasn't even, I didn't even know Big Brow was there. I saw the bully eight cross the road in front of me, two, well, cross in front of Kaylee twice, and then I seen him cross into the red brush last night. So I knew he was bedded in there. I'm like, oh my gosh, he's there right now. <laughs> <laughs> I figured, I figured. Well, you know, it took, it took. See what he looks like dead. Okay, I'll bring him down and show you. Uh, yeah, uh, Freaking yeah. two days of cold weather and every big buck on this road is in my backyard. No, I figured he would be. I figured it was just a matter of time. So, yeah. A matter of time. I was, I was trying to kill him before he came down there, but it didn't work out for me. Yeah. Well, I knew, uh, I knew if he made it to this point that we would have a good opportunity at it. Well, there's where my tripod was sitting all morning. That's, can't ever remember everything, seems like. Got the deer picker up for service here. Hopefully the gator can make it through the snow. I think it will. I've been through quite a lot of snow already this morning with it. He's got his uh, beautiful eight point, biggest one he's ever shot. We don't need your. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. This That's a beautiful deer. Tell us about it, Cliff. Tell us about the hunt. Okay, so, uh, well, everybody pretty much knows about the hunt. I, mm -hmm. uh, Kaylee and I had seen this buck or a different buck down here in the food plot the last few nights crossing the road right here and uh i've been sitting up in that shanty every night and i'm like watching this that strip in the red brush i'm never seeing this deer and we're seeing them all the time out here so i'm like well he's obviously not going all the way through he's coming he's bedded right here on the edge of this food plot and he's utilizing this food plot right here and not the one that's inside the uh red brush so this morning i thought well if I sit down here, I'll try to catch them going back across the road to bed because they have been uh, bedding across the road. I figured, well, I'll catch him on his way through. And uh, what actually happened I, in my own head is I think he winded me because the wind changed and started blowing right into the red brush. And he got really spooky and he came running out of here and he stopped right here for a second. And I pulled up with a, with a rifle and he, he was just spinning to turn around to run back in. And I think I hit him, hit him right here. And, came out right behind the shoulder on the other side but this is a buck that uh the neighbors know really well uh spent most you know all year over there and it's not till late you know late season that it ended up over here last year and uh he got here a little earlier this year due to the snow and cold and these food plots that's what it's all about i mean he's pulled deer in from a long ways away but i couldn't be any happier pictures in my phone <laughs> sitting there like he's alive what's that does it pass inspection <laughs> that's a nice uh, brow tine huh? yeah that's how he got his name the brow tine buck this is a Beckrank deer. Down for a visit? Down for a little bite to eat. <laughs> Down for a little bite to eat. Yeah, he's a four or five year old. Did you hear the shot this morning? I figured you probably did. <laughs> I saw your, I was sitting down there in the corner and I saw your light pop on or your TV or something. And right about after that, I looked up and there that thing was. You didn't have any trouble seeing him, did you? No. Holy cow, Cliff. What a beast. Oh my goodness. Yep. Yep. 
Tagged out 2020. What a year, huh? Yep. Do you have a, a knife or something right there handy that yep. I can cut I the rest of that it. zip tie off? I got something to show you, Grandpa. <laughs> what do you think of that guy? That's super. I think you just blew your brother-in-law out of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Down to the real world. <laughs> yeah, that's a super bug. Yeah, it is. It's he's twenty inches right on the money. Yeah, you just blew me away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nineteen and five eighths. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that's a nice. That's one. my best buck. How I, far away? He was only about ninety yards. He wasn't very far at all. Could have used open sight. I know. Well, <laughs> I actually shot it with Kaylee's 243. Because where I was sitting, I could only see about 140 yards. So I'm like, well, there's no sense in taking my Creedmoor 300 for no. for a 100 yard shot. And uh, it was actually worked out good that I had that 243. You only took about actually, two steps and pummeled. You could put all them calibers in a bowl and when you're having coffee, just pick a thing out and say, oh, today I got to see. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, that buck lived across the road from our property all year and then this cold weather and snow got him over to ours and uh, we seen him cross into the red brush the last few nights so I figured he was in there and I decided I was going to hunt it and try to oh, catch him crossing. How, How old do you think? Four. It, I bet he's four more because last year he was a heck of a... Whoa, oh, <laughs> oh, dear. I don't have a dope for oh. <laughs> This is a biggie. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know. Camera off some little ones over there on the barn. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of hard hunting for them buggers over there, though. Quite you, a few miles. Yep. Hey, she's got. Yeah, I knew she could make that horn stand up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Eight points. Just wanted to give everybody a little update. We got the deer. Uh, I was able to show it to uh, the majority of my family, and we got it to the taxidermist. I took it over to Bob Crosley's in Sherman. He does an absolutely awesome job. Uh, you know, I have nothing but good things to say about him. He also does uh, European mounts. If you guys are, you know, here in Chautauqua County or local. Uh, you can take your heads over to him and he'll do an awesome European mount for you. But I'm looking forward to uh, getting Big Brow back. I mean, this whole morning was just crazy. Like, everything happened so fast. And, you know, I can't even explain. Uh, when I was walking up to the deer, I got like 10 feet away from him and was just like, just stood there and looked at it like, you got to be kidding me. Like, that's, you know big brow and you think about the hours and hours and hours of work i put in to you know the food plots and the habitat and everything all comes down to that one moment and like it was almost i mean it's like overwhelming the feeling that comes you know that overcomes you after that uh you know this morning i i was contemplating just sitting at the house and watching this bottom uh you know, and seeing what happens and what deer, you know, if that buck crosses or one of those big bucks cross. And uh, with it being a little warmer, I decided, you know what, I'll go down there and, and sit, you know, close. And thank God I did because that buck wasn't naturally coming out there, you know, when I shot him. He was spooked. My wind blew in there. He was bedded down in there, I'd assume. He caught my wind and he's like, oh crap, I got to get out of here. And, and that's why he actually came out and gave me a shot, I think. He certainly wasn't just walking out there to take take a bite of food by any means. He was full or ready to, uh, to, to get out of there. But man, what a whirlwind of emotions and excitement and just crazy how everything worked out. And uh, this whole season has just been unbelievable for Kaylee and I uh, it doesn't get much better everybody it really doesn't I had to go get a COVID test just now horrible I swear they stuck a q-tip to the back of my skull I don't know if that's like a normal thing to do or a guy was pissed off he didn't like me or what but man that sucked I'm never gonna do it again they've 
come anywhere near me with one of them Q-tips. I'll tell them to spin that thing around and shove it up or do something else with it. You're not putting that in my nose again. That was horrible. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch of footage from my neighbor where the deer actually spent most of his time. And I got footage of him out here last year going to the food plot. So there's a lot more to the story. Sorry, I couldn't get the shot on film for you guys. But the reality of that one, even if I had my tripod with me, that deer ran out of there and was about to, he was literally spinning to go back in when I finally pulled the trigger on him. And there was no way there was going to be any type of good footage on that. I would have just had to had the camera going and just been lucky, you know, that he'd come out when, when it was going. But um, maybe at some point I'll be able to have a full-time cameraman with me and uh, capture moments like that, which would be sweet. We're going to go ahead and wrap this video up, everybody. Uh, the last three days, two days have been absolutely insane on our property. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to give anything away here, but there's going to be some awesome awesome videos to follow this one. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm just going to put a bunch of trail camera pictures and videos of uh, big brow starting from last year, 2019, and I'll run them right through this year what we have of them. Uh, but I'll give you a little sneak peek of what the next video is going to be right here and. Uh, I really want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank all of our patrons, and uh, I want to, I really want to thank everybody that's been buying uh, shirts and hats from us. We just got a whole new shipment of shirts and hats in, all sizes. We have the uh, camouflage KEO hats, and we have the black KEO hats. Uh, we just got a whole bunch of them in. If you guys want any of that, all you got to do is email KayleeSheldon10 at gmail.com. Let her know what you want. She'll send you an invoice and send the stuff out to you so it's really pretty simple but thanks everybody and uh i'll see you on the next video which is pretty epic that's a huge i know that's the biggest one we have just it's all ready to fire right yeah you just have to let it turn broadside How, how, how ticklish is this trigger? It's just, it's just ticklish. Huge. Just hold the high shoulder, okay? Yeah. Let him turn sideways. He's facing me right now. Yeah, I know he is. You don't want me to take him right no, now? No, no, no. Let him turn sideways. Are you good and steady? Yeah. You know, if you push the gun forward, you can get it pinched against that and keep it, yeah, like that. Oh, I could take him right in the chest. No, don't do that. Let him turn sideways.